Swedish Air Force sets the tradition of using domestic aircraft manufactured by Saab in cooperation with some other domestic firms such as Volvo, Ericsson. It can be said that the Saab aircraft is the pinnacle of the Swedish defense industry. These self-designed aircraft are often extremely unique in appearance. Saab 35 Dragon is one of them. It looks like an alien flying vehicle. This is a fighter model developed for the Swedish Air Force from the 1950s. The Saab 35 was not the first type of jet fighter built by Sweden, but it was considered one of the most efficient supersonic aircraft in the early stages of the Cold War. Few know that the Su-27 is not the first fighter capable of performing the Cobra maneuver, but the Saab 35 Dragon, which has been doing this before the Su-27 for decades, although its movements were not really as smooth as Sukhoi's fighter jet. Up to 651 units of Orange Sharp 35 variants were produced, and they only retired completely in 2005. This fighter line was not only used by Sweden, but also exported to other neighboring countries including Austria, Finland, and Denmark. After World War II, as the Jets era started, Sweden foresaw the need for a jet fighter that could intercept bombers at high altitude and also successfully engage fighters. The Dragon was developed during the 1940s and 1950s to replace Sweden's first generation of jet powered fighter aircraft, the Sharp J 29 Turnan and the Sharp J 32 Lanson. Its first flight took place in 1955 and was entered service in 1960 being among the most advanced and remarkable fighters of its time. The Dragon is designed as a tailless fighter with a single vertical tail fin. The fuselage has a circular section and the inboard portion of the wing is a large cord surface which extended almost to the overall air intakes are located on either side of the fuselage. The fuselage of the Dragon consisted of two sections, front and rear, joined by bolts. The forward section accommodates the fire control radar, cockpit, nose undercarriage, inner grove fuel tanks, and various systems. The rear portion, which was manufactured as a single piece alongside the rest of the inner wing, contained the engine and afterburner, back type fuel tanks, armament, main landing gear, and other systems. It featured an innovative tupper delta wing, a previously unexplored aeronomic configuration, with one delta wing within another larger delta. The inner wing has an 80 degrees angle for high speed performance, while the outer 60 degrees wing gives good performance at low speeds. The Dragon can boast not only being a radical and new design thus making it a very advanced one by the first decades of the Cold War. Sharp 35 was originally designed with a single seat. The cockpit of the Dragon featured mostly Swedish sourced instrumentation. The radar was a very sophisticated one. APS-208 based on the French Thompson CSF Cyrano radar. It had a range of 24 km and targets were normally detected at 24 km. It incorporated an identification friend or foe system. It was among the first fighters in incorporating an onboard radar and the early version of the detailing system, whose enhanced version was incorporated in the J-37 Vegan and the JAS-39 Gripen. Indeed, the Dragon incorporated the SDRIL-60 ground control network that enabled Dragon pilots a firing guidance through the on-board instruments, being the system also capable to resist electronic jamming. For export customers, the Dragon was outfitted with a Ferranti built Airbus 2 fire control radar. The Dragon was also fitted with a 3-axis autopilot.
propulsion was provided by single Svenska split motor RM6B or RM60 turbojet engine, bestowing a maximum speed of 2450 km per hour at 11,000 meters. The variants listed at 2750 km with extended drop tanks. It also had a superior service ceiling at 20,000 meters in comparison with fighters of its times, as well as the rest of climb is 199 meters per second. Aside the facts of being the first European supersonic jet fighter, the Dragon was the first fighter to have short takeoff and landing capabilities. The ram turbine, positioned under the aircraft's nose, provided emergency power while the engine also featured the built-in emergency starter unit. The Dragon could deploy a drag shoot to reduce its landing distance. The principal armament was carried externally. Up to four AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air missiles were carried on hard points beneath the wings and fuselage. Alternative payloads include a variety of bombs and rockets. Early version of the Dragon had two 30mm 18M55 cannons located within each of the inboard wing panels, later version having only one cannon. In place of the cannons, additional fuel tanks could be fitted in the same space. For area reconnaissance missions, a variety of camera ports could be carried underneath the fuselage. Despite being conceptualized as an interceptor, Sharp 35 performed well in dark flights and was able to undertake ground attack, training, and reconnaissance missions as well. And it proved to be a very tough and resistant design, as it is among a few jet fighter designs to be in service for 50 years. The design was so unique that, in fact, the Dragon was studied for the design and development of the F-16XL experimental prototype. In Swedish service, the Dragon underwent several upgrades, the ultimate of this being the J-35J motor. By the 1980s, the Swedish Air Force's Dragons had largely been replaced by the more advanced Sharp 37 Viking fighter, while the introduction of the more capable Sharp Just 39 Gripen fighter was expected in service within a decade, although delayed. As a consequence of cutbacks and high maintenance costs, the Swedish Air Force opted to retire the Dragon during December 1999. Austria was the last country to have the Dragon in active military service. In 2005, this Dragon was retired, having been replaced by former Swiss Air Force F-5 Tiger Tools, while waiting for new Aerofighter Typhoons to take their place in the long term. My video of Sharp 35 Dragon ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.